flammable day. Don't forget to share the videos. I have a physical mailbox now. Send me with shit. See ya. <laughs>
two x y plus e to the y dx. Okay, and then we are going to add this right here to it, plus an integral from zero to y in this case of q of x naught comma y. X naught is nothing but zero, meaning everywhere where the x is supposed to be, we are going to plug in zero. This and that is going to vanish, so we are just going to be left with y integrated with respect to y. Nice and easy, okay? It's, it's pretty easy. Now, let us integrate this stuff, meaning our c is thus nothing but. Integrating this with respect to x, this is going to give us x times e to the y, and where we have x, we are going to have x squared over 2 after the integration, meaning we are going to be left with x squared over 2 minus x squared times y plus x times e to the y and also we are going to integrate y with respect to y is going to give us y squared over 2, okay? Also notice we are going to have the lower and upper bounds from 0 to x or 0 to y respectively. The cool thing is those are just um, those two are basically just polynomials in x and y respectively so if you plug in 0 Basically, everything is going to vanish. Plug zero into here, that's going to vanish. If you plug zero into x here, everything's going to vanish. So that's nice. And on all the other parts, you just plug in x and y, okay, as your variables. And meaning, overall, we are going to get x squared over 2 minus x squared times y plus x e to the y plus y squared over 2 is nothing but our function f with respect to x and y, which is nothing but our one parameter family of solutions. Okay, it's as easy as it is. If you, if you remember those formulas, you are basically done. Now we still have our initial value problem right here. Okay, this right here is the main result. This is what you want to get. And now with this initial value problem, we can actually find out our c right here. Okay, our constant. That's a good thing. You always want to find out the constant of integration, basically. Now, if you plug this in. y is a function with respect to x. So what this right here basically means is that x is equal to 1 in this equation and y is going to be equal to 0. Meaning this right here is going to vanish in the process. This is going to vanish. If we plug um, 0 into here, e to the 0 of power is nothing but 1. Okay, this is going to give us 1 times 1 is nothing but 1 in the process. And this right here is going to give us 1 squared over 2 is nothing but 1 half. Meaning c is nothing but 1 half plus 1, which is nothing but 3 over 2 overall. And yeah, this is basically it, okay? It's nice and easy. If you know those formulas, it's, <laughs> it just falls from the sky really naturally. But what happens if you don't know those formulas, for example, in an axiom? Well, that's not a problem because we have some more conditions that our exact differential equation has to satisfy. Namely that del xf is nothing but p and del yf is nothing but q and well, you can choose one of those, really doesn't quite matter. Let us go for the p part once again, okay? Now let us take a look at, this right here is the, um, is the working through all of that way, okay? Del xf is nothing but our p, which is nothing but this right here. x minus 2 xy plus e to the y. And what did we do in the constructed proof? Well, we basically just integrated both sides with respect to x to get our f, okay? So if we just integrate both sides with respect to x, you can either plug in initial conditions or you just leave it as some random remainder function r of y, okay? This is what we also get at. You can also plug in from x0 to x, okay? Then you can simply get rid of this r of y, okay? Then we are going to get this right here. On the left hand side, if you differentiate a function with respect to x and then integrate it with respect to x, you are just going to be left with the function in itself. So that's equivalent to saying that f is thus nothing but x squared over 2 minus. Um, x squared times y. You see, we are already getting this part out of this whole ordeal. Plus x times e to the y plus r of y. Now, we have one more condition. Our f also has to satisfy this condition right here. Okay, so we can simply differentiate both sides partially with respect to y. 
And what are we going to get out of this? Well, we know that this thing right here is nothing but our Q. Del yf is nothing but our Q by this condition right here. That's what we find out, but what is Q exactly? Q is nothing but this right here. Y minus x squared plus x times e to the y is this thing right here. Differentiate with respect to y, okay? Leaving us with, this is going to vanish. This thing is going to give us negative x squared. This thing is going to give us x times e to the y plus Let's assume that this thing is differentiable, okay, this remainder term right here, plus our prime of y. Now let us see what cancels out. We can add x squared over 2 on both sides. Okay, we're going to get rid of this. We can subtract x times e to the y on both sides. Okay, that's a cool thing. Meaning, what we're going to get is that our prime of y is thus nothing but y. And now we can integrate both sides with respect to y by the same arguments. We are going to get rid of this differential right here in our r. And this is going to give us, okay, r of y is nothing but y squared over 2. That's supposed to be a 2, plus some remainder term, but you can argue that this is going to vanish in the end. We did this in this constructive proof, okay? That, that's something we did. And we know that this up here has been our f, so what we can conclude is that we can pay a lot of respects to this function right here, meaning our f of x, y is nothing but, okay. We have this y squared over 2, which is nothing but our r of y, and also we have those terms that we integrated. So x squared over 2 minus x squared times y plus x times e to the y plus y squared over 2. And yeah, it really depends on your region. In normal case, you are going to get some new constant out of this, but this right here is the nice and heuristic way if you don't know how to Remember your formulas, okay? So, um, yeah, just a nice and easy exercise. Now you can plug your initial values in and you are going to get the same thing as before. This has been the first exercise. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and dab on them. Hey, there's my boys. And yeah, buy those t-shirts I created, support channel on Patreon, whatsoever. And up until the next video, have a flammable day. Don't forget to share the videos. I have a physical mailbox now. Send me weird shit. See ya. <laughs>